back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Bruce Ramirez and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Yes. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and watch my last video, my first video here on YouTube. This happens to be my second video. My hair is messing up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Anyways, yeah. So as you guys can tell from today's title of today's video, I'm going to be doing the trendy fox eye makeup look. I've had a lot of inspiration from a lot of different people. However, I put my own little twist on it. As you guys can tell, I did the bottom part of my eyes and I also put a little bit of glitter, you know, just a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of a dazzle, you know what I'm talking about? A little bit of glimmer, just a little pop of something, okay? I know that there's a lot of other videos out there exactly like this one, um, but you know, I had to go on and hop on the little trend. And I just wanted to like, I don't know, have fun or whatever. Like the other day, I actually did this look. My camera was full on, not working. My SD card was just broken. Had to go out today and buy a new one. And I decided to sit down and film this look for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Go ahead and share this video with your friends so we can all be friends. And we can all, you know, play with our makeup and whatnot, you know what I mean? And yeah, without further left to talk about, because I talk a lot, let's go ahead and jump into this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, because I'm going to be posting a makeup look slash OOTD outfit of the day. Um, and yeah, I'm more active on Instagram. So, yeah. Without going more to talk about what to do, let's go ahead and jump right into this makeup video. All right, you guys, as you can see, I started doing one eye. I looked down, I wasn't even recording. This whole time I was talking and all that type of stuff and I was not recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you guys again what palette I'm using. I'm going to be using the Soft Glam Palette by ABH. This is an oldie but goodie. I've had her for a long time, okay, a long time. I'm gonna be using three shades out of this palette. I'm gonna be using Noir, uh, Cypress Umber, and Rustic because for this eye look, you wanna use colors that are just, you know, used every single day, like an, on an everyday basis. I mean, these are the colors that I mostly use every single day, so yeah. I'm going to be picking up my Morphe M508 brush and I'm going to be dipping it into Noir just a tiny little bit. And what I'm going to do is instead of going in with a liquid liner or anything or a gel liner, I want this to be super diffused. So that's why I'm going in with the eyeshadow because when I blend the rest of the shadows on top, it's going to just blend very smoothly and seamlessly if that makes any sense. So... Yeah, the other day I did this look, and I can't even lie to you, when I did it, it wasn't hard to do, but when I did it, I did set my lids with some powder, just a little, like my whole lid with powder, and I went in with bronzer first to um, make like the wing shape, and then I, you know, slowly started going in with the darker shades one at a time and stuff, and it just was not, it was more patchy than it was like really defined. I, I'm not trying to say defined, but I'm pretty sure y'all get me. But I'm not going to be taking it all the way across the lid. And since this is a fox eye makeup trend, I'm not going to be taking this black into the inner corner just yet because I'm going to go in with a look eyeliner. Y'all see me just a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the shade Rustic. I know you're probably like, wait, what? Why don't you go in with the second darkest color? I'm not because I don't want it to look super duper dark and harsh or anything. So I'm going to go in with Rustic and I'm going to be taking this Morphe M422 brush. I love this brush to like blend out the lower lash line or like diffuse the um, line that I just created. And I'm going to take that super light and I'm just going to blend this out. Now remember, this does not have to be perfect in any way. I just like doing this part with this type of brush. If you want to take a different type of brush, that's up to 
you. And then the same thing, I'm not really going to be taking that shade like across the lid or anything. And it's like I'm tapping it and then I'm blending it. Okay, so I'm just blending that out. And I'm not really using a hard, like, rough hand or anything. I'm using a very soft hand. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Hula bronzer. The other day, this is what I used. And even though it came out cute, it still wasn't what I really originally wanted in the eye look. So I'm going to go in with the original Hula by Benefit. And I'm taking this on this Morphe M433 brush. I'm just dipping in there just you know, a little bit and I tap off the excess always. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take that bronzer and just go over top and just diffuse that harshness even more. But this time, I'm going to be bringing it in all the way to the inner corner. Sorry if my hair is in the way. I'm like blind. I cannot see at all. Just like that. And just take more. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with more in the same brush that I picked that color up from the get-go. And I'm just going to darken it. Not too much, I'm just going to go in on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it with this same brush. This is why I like this brush. I used to use this brush to cut, up, um, cut my creases a long time ago. But now I like it for this specific reason. Are you that type of person that like, gets brushes for like a certain type of thing and then all of a sudden you just like change it and use something else? Because I am. What I do is because of this brush right here, I don't know if you guys can see, but because of this brush it has this point right here. And what I love to do is I love to just kind of like take that brush and I'll just extend this line with the point. Not too much because it will get really messy really quick and you do not want that, okay? You do not want that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this NYX um, Vinyl Liquid Liner. This is in the shade black. And this is what I'm going to do to get that um, fox eye in her corner. I'm going to just create the line. So what I usually do is I like to look head on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this very tiny little baby pencil brush. And this is the Morphe M515. I'm going to take, I'm gonna take Rustic first. Let's see how this does. And I'm going to just blend out that inner corner a lot. I'm going right on top of it. It's like the liquid liner isn't fully dry, but it's dry. And I'm just blending that on top of that black liquid liner just so it's not so harsh or anything. And I'm going to dip my brush into um, Cypress Umber just a tiny little bit. I'm going to go in in the inner corner and just kind of blend out that brushiness because so I want this to be more of a faded cat, I mean not a cat eye, faded fox eye look, you know, like very blended, very smoked out. Okay, so I just cleaned that up real quick. I'm going to go in with my bronzer and this is what I did last time. I liked it. I thought it came out really nice. And I'm going to take that bronzer on this Morphe M535, 35 M535, and I'm going to just put that in the crease just a tiny little bit. Because I didn't really like the way that the crease was just like really empty. 
and I'm going to show you guys in a little bit what I did the last time. I'm sorry if you hear an echo. I just got into my new beauty room. So I made my bedroom into the beauty room and I put my actual bedroom closer to my son. So we're closer to him. I'm just going to go ahead and keep on building this up because I like the way it looks when it's built up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take my Omrezi um, palette and I'm going to take the two shades that I took the last time. I just put a little bit of glitter on top and I thought it came out really cute. So I'm going to take Gemini and Witty. Gemini is more of like a very um, brownish bronze color. It doesn't really have much copper in it and it's really pigmented. You guys can't tell. And then I'm going to take Lydia on top, which is more of like a rose gold and it has like more gold and pink tones. Just take it with my finger and I just tap a little bit. And I'm going to tap it on. And I'm not using any adhesive or anything for the glitter because it's more like a pressed glitter in a way. And I don't want to use any um, adhesive because I don't really want it to be in focus in one area. I want it to be more diffused and just kind of like, you know, just a tiny little splash of glitter. So now I'm taking Liddy. I'm going to go in with my eyelashes. These are the Lily Lashes in the style Barcelona. I say Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And they look, you know, super cute and wispy. I am more into these type of eyelashes than I am the full-on fluffy ones. I'm just not really into those unless they're wispy fluffy ones. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put my glue on them. I'm going to go ahead and apply that on. And what I like to do is I like to focus it more on the outer part. And I just press it right in the center. Make sure the center is stuck first. And then I go ahead and do the inner portion. And there it is. I told you, it looks really cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll jump right back on to show you the rest of the face and everything. So yeah, see you in a little bit. Okay, so I already did my face and everything. Um, you know, I just used regular bronzer like usual, just the same things. I just did not cream contour. So what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is the way that I... Oh, that's right the way that I did this look last time when I posted it to my IG stories. Um, I know a lot of people just do the top of their eyes for this fox eye trend i did the top but i'm also going to be doing the bottom now if you want to keep it really simple you don't have to do this you know you could just stick with browns you don't have to use any black shades whatsoever and you can just use like you know like regular ardell demi wispies or no lashes at all if you have really good lashes i don't but you know i wanted to do it this way because i see a lot of people doing it and i just wanted to you know, give this a little bit of a pizzazz. Like, if you're going on a date or something, if you're just staying in the house, I don't really know. There's not really much to do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take my Marc Jacobs. I don't even know what this is called. I've got Highlighter Gel Crayon. This is in the shade Blacker. I don't like this eyeliner. In fact, I want to get another one. I just, you know, Sephora's clothes and everything, and I'm just cheap and don't want to get one. But I'm going to go ahead and tight line my eyes and when I say that this eyeliner doesn't show up and I know it's not because it's old because when I had this 
when I first got it, it was not showing up either. So it's just like, it does not show up at all. And I can't really tight line because my eyes are like so freaking sensitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the waterline also. I'm gonna go in with the shade EK because I feel like that is a little bit blacker than the noir black that I have. I'm just gonna pack that color on because I'm going to set that eyeliner. That's why I put down that um, powder. I'm not gonna put any mascara and I'm also not going to buff that out either. So I like the way that it looks like this. So I did it the other day like this and I'm not really this type of girl to smudge the lower lash line out, but you know what, I'm trying, okay, I'm trying. I think that looks really cute. My nose contour is a little wonky because like, I don't know how to do nose contour. Since I got cut off the last time from doing lips, I'm gonna go ahead and do lips again. And I'm going to be taking these two MAC lip liners. This is the cork shade and this is oak. I'm gonna take cork first because it's a little darker. I'm gonna be sharper now. And what I like doing is I like to overline the cupid's bow of my lips. So I always go on with cupid's bow first.